What's up? Slappers, this is gonna be a very difficult video for me. It might shock you, but I was not always as cool and perfect as I am now. I also had my embarrassing moments in the past. One of my most embarrassing moments was this video where I touched a guitar. But there are more secret moments I've never talked about. These moments have been haunting me for years and one of them is a live performance I did in Brazil six years ago. And now I'm gonna expose myself just for you. Slap the like button. I expect at least 12.8 million likes. Thanks. But before I show you the video, for a long time there have been conspiracy theories about me. Some haters believe I can't actually play bass. They think all my videos are fake. The main proof they have of this theory is that I don't play live shows, I don't have a band, I just play in my bedroom. And there have been some videos of me playing live that are not impressive at all. Now I'm finally coming clean with you. We're gonna react to these embarrassing videos together. And I'm finally doing this because recently I did a live show with two set violin where I prove I actually exist in real life and I can actually play the bass. Checkmate! Haters! So the main videos my haters love is this performance I did in Rock in Rio in Brazil. If you are Brazilian, leave a comment now. Let's check this out. This is gonna be painful. What did you think about it? You know when there is an embarrassing video of yourself from so many years ago and you just cringe thinking about it? Well, this is the video for me, except it has 1 million views. Kill me please. I think it was a kind of a fail for me. Now let's start with my excuses. I didn't have any confidence at all. Lama. I was so nervous, you can actually see my hands shaking sometimes. It was very awkward to be alone on such a big stage and I wanted to wear sunglasses just to try to separate me from the audience and I was just a noob musician. I really messed up the vibe of this song. You know, I did the classic beginner mistake, playing something too fast. Anyway, back in the days, I wasn't musically mature. I just played bass without any other goal. I didn't actually play any wrong notes here. It was just too fast. Music is supposed to make people feel emotions and the goal of the musician is to play the music so people can feel emotions through their playing. So the biggest mistake here is that this is supposed to be a slow emotional song and I just played it with no emotions and fast AF. But still, day before 04 from 6 years ago, I'm proud of you for never giving up. Anyway, of course the comments are wild. I wanted to redeem myself from this performance and I think I did in the recent concert where I played the same song and I played it like this.
much better vibe here. I think the main difference here is that I just was way more confident in myself thanks to all the success and support from you. Clappers! My technique has not improved a lot since six years ago. I just grew as a musician and I just hope that this video can inspire some of you to realize it's easy to look on your old yourself and cringe at it but it's important that we all start from somewhere and the key is to keep working hard and never giving up. Haters are gonna hate regardless of anything. I just wanted to show you these videos to cringe and laugh at it together. Am I a perfect musician now? Yes. I'm joking. No. But at least I am better than before. I found another video my haters love. Check this out. So this was like the second time ever I played a fretless bass Bruh. Playing some random stuff on a bass I've never played before is the proof I can't actually play bass You got me, haters I'm gonna tell you a secret All musicians, even the best ones, like me, need to practice hard before performing Behind my videos there are hours and hours of practice And the final result is just the tip of the iceberg What I'm trying to say is, if you just randomly give me a bass out of nowhere I'm not gonna play something perfect like in my videos But if I practice a specific song with the idea of performing it then I'm gonna play it perfect. Did I play good here? Of course not. But anybody who considers it a performance has low IQ brain. For example, I played Master of Puppets in a video. I played it live even better than in the video, my past concert. Why? Practice. 40 hours, 69 hours. Anyway, I just wanted to make this video to just finally clear these secret videos that have been going around on YouTube. And I just hope I showed you my vulnerable side today. And this means you have to slap like now and subscribe. What was your first live performance? I want you to share your experience with me. I will read all your comments. Trust me. But my really most embarrassing video is this one. I'm just joking. This is one of the videos I'm most proud about. Checkmate. I will see you in the next video. Stay funky bros.